Hi everyone, it's Pat from Beads and Plenty More and today I'm going to talk about working with crystal rondelles and that's these little crystal spacer beads that have the rhinestones around the outside edge and there's a hole in the center so they sit upright like that. So I've chosen some uh, 10 millimeter crystal Chinese crystal beads in a kind of a brown color that I thought went very nice with my rose gold. And we have this piece that has the bale already on it and a leaf and a heart, which are really pretty pieces to as your um, part that is going to finish off the bracelet. So I've taken a piece of, of uh, 7, 0.7 millimeter is my favorite elastic, which is this package here. Uh, it also is, uh, it works with almost any color, uh, any size beads and of course any color beads. So I'm going to start with the bale because it has the largest hole and that's going to be really easy to hide my knot at the end. So I'm going to string on the, the bale and I just designed it to have only one bead beside the, the bale and then on to using two beads in between the um, uh, other uh, crystal rondelles. Now these rondelles come in several sizes and also in silver edge and gold edge. The silver edge is also very popular uh, for a, a spacer bead because of course silver goes with most everything and it's nice to have a little bit of shine. So we'll just feed these on. They're very easy to, to thread because they have a fairly good sized hole. And now I'll talk a little bit about sizing a bracelet. These uh, 10 millimeter beads are a little bit on the large size. So you always will need uh, to make a little bit extra length whenever you have a larger bead uh, because it takes up more space. If you're using a very tiny bead, you can go pretty accurate with a straight measure but with a larger bead, you generally need to add a bit more length in order to achieve the right size. So we'll get all these guys threaded on and then I will show you how to finish the other end. Also wanted to show you the silver color in the rondelles because it's also very popular. So uh, this is a popular design, a two in one. Sometimes you can do a three in one, but of course three in one makes it a little harder to size because you're gonna end up not being able to achieve your pattern all the way. Okay, so that's the threading. And before I finish the end, I wanna show you these silver ones too, because they're very pretty as well. And they've got the rhinestones around the outside similar size to my rose gold that I'm using and also a nice big hole to make it easy to thread. So once I've finished the length, I'm going to measure, uh, I'm looking at making about a seven inch bracelet. Now I've got eight inches of straight length here, but by the time I do my turning and tying, it shortens it quite a bit. So I'm going to do the knots, just do one knot and then we do two knots, two rolls. It's called a surgeon's knot when you do two and one. Okay, and then I'm working with this bracelet sizer here to show that I'm gonna work on, try to achieve a, a seven inch bracelet. So that, that eight inch flat falls down to be about a seven inch when you put it on the, si the bracelet sizer. So, okay, so we're finished with the, the knot here. I'm gonna use my GNS Hypo Cement for cinching the knot um, completely. It, it will um, hold it much better than just tying itself. In fact, tying itself just doesn't work because you're going to have it uh, loosening up and, and unraveling on you. So we'll just get a little bit of glue on this side and we'll just do it a little bit on the other side. Always good to go on both sides. Then now that I've got that done, I'm going to take one side of this elastic and 
put it through the large hole here of the bale and we'll pop that knot right inside that bale just like that now it takes a little while for the glue to dry so we'll leave these tails just extended and then i'll trim it off after it's dried at least three or four hours and presto we've got a beautiful bracelet just with some simple two products and a nice little bale so have fun with your uh, rond rhinestone rondelles, and uh, we'll see some more bracelets next time. Bye.